After a thousand years, the mists are finally clear to reveal Albion, the land of myth and magic beyond the sea. Back in the old world, a king who rules with an iron hand longs for Albion's riches. He summons adventurers to claim the land, hoping to escape their grim lives many follow, dreaming of a bright future in Albion. But the journey across the sea is long and dangerous. And only the most daring cross successfully. Those who make it arrive at the shores of this magical land, from where they immediately begin to craft, trade, and conquer. You are among these adventurers. Head out and forge your own destiny in Albion. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. LMG here, and welcome to the land of Albion. Yeah, this is Albion Online. Just came out earlier this week uh, for everybody. About uh, start packs about thirty bucks. This is buy to play. I see a lot of people complaining on other videos and stuff. Yeah, it's not free to play. Just graphically not a great game. I got it's, it's, the graphics are alright, but the main thing is you know the uh, gameplay. I think uh, it is a little, little bit of grindy, especially they've kind of made. Let's actually go. The first thing we're gonna check out is the store. Uh, yeah, if you don't want the grind, uh, pretty much description of what you're gonna do because you get plus. Pretty much 50, 50, 100% on the crops as well. Yeah, you get everything a lot faster. It's about 10 bucks a month, which is, I, I guess, reasonable. You can buy it, but man, you're going to have to work for it. You are going to have to work for that premium status. Because you, you can pay it uh, for a gold in-game, but in silver. But that's that's quite a bit, especially if you're not getting that bonus, i got to say. But yeah, they have the legendary packs and they got the epic adventurer pack or something like that. It's like 100 bucks, 60 bucks. And if this is the game for you and you really feel like uh, you want to get into this, I think that's okay. I definitely think that's okay. But I, I just can't really advise it for this game. Yeah, it's like 100 bucks. A little too much, I think. But we're going to go around. First thing I'm going to do check is our destiny board. That's the way you can do skills in here. I can't actually zoom out all the way, but... You see, I've done a little bit. Yeah, these training gatherers. So we've gathered a lot of materials, that unlocks other tools. Which then you can unlock more tools once you uh, epic load those up. Which leads to more, which leads to more, which leads to more. And eventually you get down to like this kind of stuff. Become a chicken breeder. Animal breeder. Gotta raise some baby chickens. Yeah, we harvest carrot seeds. Yeah, quite a bit of stuff to do in farming as well. Crafting, uh, slaying as well. Let's see what this stuff is. Oh, Adaptive Venture. So that unlocks uh, buildings. Yeah, because you can do buildings. I think you'd actually buy your own private island too. I know they do have guild islands as well. A little more awesome avatar. But let's go out and up of that. Let's go out and gather some stuff. Let me take a look around the island and actually bring up the uh, world map as well. Oh, as we're getting to Embury. Yeah, this is loosely based off of, uh, you know, the Fable franchise. But, is this like the Albion you're looking for? Uh, probably not from the game, so I would say no. But, quite a bit of uh, Let's Keep. I've only, you know, explored that uh, that Starter Island, really. I haven't really gone out to all the places yet. This is kind of a first impression video. Quite a bit of stuff, quite a bit of content, though. And guilds can actually control the land, too. That is actually pretty neat. We see. Oop, nah, let's not mess with that. Let's get out of here. And those are actually traders, because usually you upgrade and get that uh, mount. Hear a lot more stuff in trade. I'm going to murder a beaver for no reason, because I'm a horrible person. But if we were going to go out of here, we could actually see. Let's head up north, I think. Actually, we're gonna head. We're gonna head out to the uh, head out west. Then I think let's go a little bit of exploring. All these kind of stuff is just kind of the level one crafting stuff. Really not gonna net us anything. And you have a lot of kill creatures, 
Yeah, a lot of, you see these point, fame points, a little bit on the grind edge. Well, what is that? An MMO, if not grind. What do we got over there? Limestone? Don't really need it. Gotta worry about your carrying weight as well. And why am I? Oh dear God, why am I walking? We got a mule. Slightly faster. We got copper ore. Not really. I think we've definitely outgrown. I uh, one thing it said. Now, other than the start tutorial, I have not really had any quests besides that. Not there is a, like a daily dungeon thing I think in this in the starter area, but other than that, there's not been a squad for quests. So pretty much just you know do your own thing. I almost find it kind of refreshing that there's no story, really, that I have found so far. Yeah, we are on, like, kind of the starter island, though, so, eh, we're gonna avoid you. Not that I can't kill you, but we'll show off the combat in a little bit, but we got other stuff to do. A lot of people asking, uh, can it come on, when is it gonna come out on Android? You know, this game actually probably could come out on Android, because there's a lot of, you know, you could actually feel like this could click. And graphically, even if you have a potato PC, I don't think this is going to tax it too much. It's kind of like an improved RuneScape, maybe. Oh, tip. Don't even try to read the, the chat. It goes way too fast. Okay, so now we're up here. And Wilwick. Imagine eventually... Well, if we actually go to the left in the Highland Outpost, looks like there's a boat. I think there's a boat that takes off. Yeah, let's go that way. Got some frogs. There's some monsters. Okay, let's get out of here. You can pretty much harvest quite a bit of it. Uh, cotton, trees, ores, etc. I'll show the combat in a little bit if I just uh, find. Combat's nothing spectacular. You do have a kind of a basic uh, uh, skill ability bar. And when you do craft armor, you actually usually get a choice of what ability you want in that armor. Giant frog. I'll get some flax. Oh. And loop protected. Another thing to note. Uh, killing enemies with people you're not grouped with won't, if they hit it first, that's kind of like the standard MMO. Uh, like Elder Scrolls Online, like if you hit something, somebody else hits something, you'll both get uh, the loot from it. But this one, no, it, it doesn't pay to help out others. Going frog over there. Nice one to follow the road for a little bit. It's kind of refreshing in this MMO because you can just kind of chart your own course. I'm just going to follow the road right now. I've been out here a time or two, but the landscape is, you know, a little bit of the same quite a bit. So let's go this way, see. Island outpost. I think there might be a ship here. Yeah, there's a ship here. So we're back. Uh, we didn't actually need to leave. Yeah, this is the uh, starter area. And you got, let's pull up the map. Can I... Yeah, it'll show you toolmakers, you got stonemasons, you got lumber mill, tanner, weaver, journey warriors, forge, journeyman's. So that should get you basically up to your crafting level 3 right here. We'll go over to the repair station and just see. I believe this is the area for the uh, daily quest, but I think I already did it today. Oh no, we could still do it. It's nothing exciting, it's kind of a little bit grindy. But I did get about 2,000 gold for that. Let's see if we need to repair anything. Nope. I think it's time to see if we can get off on the boat and get out of here. Looks like we might have to wait. I don't know, I do see a boat here. We just get on and... Choose a destination. It's gonna cost me 9,000 to get off this island. We could go all the way out here. 
We got a step eight cross. About four thousand. Oh, and I'm slightly broke. Kind of based on our weight. I think we could sell some stuff real quick. Yeah, cause the way the game functions, it's got a uh, you know auction house, pretty much like wow. So we can sell something to at least get. Sell that for eleven. Yeah, I can't figure out how to change the price though, and that's my bad. Like I don't know, that might be like a sub only thing, so I don't know. That's I definitely think that's worth more than eleven. But cannot seem to edit that at all, but I just need to get rid of that weight anyway, yeah. Might be getting a little host. I'm gonna sell these copper bars for 16 for one gold. Really? For 15 gold. Yeah, that's. That way, robbery. We know we're carrying less baggage now. Let's go check. So you're never gonna pay if you wanna get off the island. Not a problem if you had the premium subscription because they just pretty much hand you a bunch of money. Why is it more now? It's only 4,000. Ah, uh, I want to buy a journey step. Let's go. All right, new land. Completely broke, but that's okay. Let's see what tier you got over here. Oh, you're just still the system workbench, so you get your basic stuff. Bunch of the three stuff, so we didn't really change too much. So pretty much, yeah, the exact same area, just different, uh... More of a desert type still, so uh, that's a little disappointing, just because... I think, wow, a lot of people playing, though. Gotta be doing something right. I, I definitely gotta say, I do overall, I do enjoy it. I think it's at least worth the, uh... $30 price tag uh, just to get in but uh, yeah you're not gonna be able to go as fast as uh, the other players that are throwing down money of course well, that's just different variation of rough logs get back on our horse meal sorry Let's see what we can find. I thought my donkey was slow. Rough log. So this is all the same kind of starter area stuff. I kind of feel we've outgrown that a little bit. That's a really sad barrier. <laughs> so just to walk around. Beep, beep. Okay, beep, beep. Get out of my way. We're doing a lot of this, a lot of clicking. That's your thing. Well, if nobody's. Let's see if that's protected from looting. No, actually. I was still protected from looting for a minute there. People just murdering stuff and leaving it. It's perfectly good. Okay, let's move up and just go explore a little more. No idea where we're going. This game pretty much does not give you a direction. Which, I don't know, some people think it'd probably be refreshing. Yeah, it's plenty, quite a bit of cotton I gotta gather. Let's go, let's go this way. We'll show up the combat a little bit if we can. I'm to Vixen Tour. Okay, a little more grassy. Yeah, 
I can actually definitely see this as an Android game, just because all the, uh... Clicky you do. We're gonna figure out the auction house. I'm sure somebody knows me in the comments, but uh, Pine logs. Uh, pine. Can we get that? Ah, I know we need Jinnerman's axe. We need to upgrade to level three. I just, I pretty much, I think I have to gather more stuff at level two to advance on to level three to, you know, etc., etc. Yeah, because pretty much, yeah, that's what we get. We can use number three. Yeah, if we gather up everything at level, a bunch of stuff at level two. Ah, so it is. A bit on the grindage. Well, let's have to find something to kill. Picky Party. Oh, that that is an interesting name. Our routine, which we don't have, because then we have to once again, you know... Uh, be at a certain level. We can gather tin, though. That's gone. Alright, get over. I'm sure there's something better to murder than that. That's not very exciting. Which are usually the local uh, enemies, the uh, heretics. Remember, just bandits. Tin. Yeah, see a lot of games like this coming out lately, though. They've got all these uh, starter packs, founder packs, etc. And then they got the subscriptions on top of that. Buy the gold. Uh, seen a lot of them kind of flooding the market lately. This one's not too bad. What is that, rough stone? I don't need that. Oh. Well, I like to at least murder something in this video. Not just squirrels. I'll just keep on going up this way. What do we got? Copper? I know we need to get that. That's a lot of grindage, though. Hey, I can murder something. Oh, it's... Can't do that with Madden. Fair enough. Abilities. Yeah, you can choose when you craft up the new armor. You can always choose one skill to go with that. Usually. Okay, I'm officially a horrible person. Resources deplete. How did I deplete that when I just killed it? Game, you confuse me. But that's all right. You can also you do have an ability to heal out of game, as well. I have no idea where we're going. We're still running into uh, lackluster resources. I imagine if they're gonna only have one server, ad, there's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of competition getting resources, etc. Like I said, if that's your thing, uh, yeah, definitely I uh, would go for that. I'm gonna go murder you again because I'm a horrible person. I want to see if that's All right, get a little bit of fame from that as well. Yep, I owe silver. But overall, if uh, you know resourcing crafting is kind of your thing, uh, you like the guild activities, etc. I would actually recommend it. Yeah, for the thirty bucks, I couldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend a subscription, or unless you're really that competitive. A subscription or like the elite founder pack or you know all that crazy spending hundreds of dollars that's that's just insanity right there but overall I, I do give it a thumbs up i do give it a thumbs up i initially wasn't but after playing it the last couple days uh it's kind of peaceful it's not too bad it's not too bad could use a little more like i don't feel like there's a big directional goal i mean other than just doing all these activities but other than that i i do enjoy it so i hope you guys enjoyed show the like button it's up a lot Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.